We are the only winery that grows its own grapes. Welcome to Chateau Latif, the only vineyard located in the heart of Manhattan. It is run by 90-year-old Latif Gigi. He grows his own grapes on the island. Latif turned his four-story house in the Upper East into a winery, producing dozens of white wine bottles each year. It grew along the wall and kept climbing, kept climbing, and came to the roof. Latif is a professor of engineering who taught at various universities, including NYU. His passion for wine goes back to his homeland, Iraq. My father used to make wine. We did have a vine in the house, but it didn't really bear grapes. But he did make wine. This picture was taken in 1922 in Basra. It shows my parents and two of my siblings. Latif's family was a part of a big Jewish community in Iraq. Up until the early 40s, around 150,000 Iraqi Jews played active roles in many aspects of the country's life. As Latif recalls, being a Jew in Iraq during his childhood years was just normal. When we go to Baghdad, we have uh, Muslim friends. My father always used to send gifts, normally dates, from Basra. So there were no problems. Don't forget that that period, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, followed the Ottoman rule in Iraq. And the Ottomans, the, the Turks, really let people have their own groups and their own uh, schools and religious institutions. But that all started to change around June of 1941, when the Farhud pogroms erupted. In the capital, Baghdad, hundreds of Jews were murdered. In Basra, many Jewish homes and businesses looted and burned down. Jewish families started to leave Iraq. And it was a very delicate time because I was in Baghdad while I was trying to gather my papers and get all the permits to be valid to leave. There were demonstrations in the streets, down with uh, Israel, down with the Jews, down with Zionism. So it was a, a very tricky time for me whether I was going to make it or not. Latif immigrated to the United States in 1947, the year of the UN's partition plan that recommended the creation of independent Arab and Jewish states. When the state of Israel was established in 1948, Latif knew that life in Iraq was surely over. I came to the United States. It was December 10, 1947. America was at its peak of power. It was the place to be. It was the dream of everyone. Certainly it was my dream. And I landed in New York. I thought that this is just an unbelievable development for me. Uh, walking on the streets, it wasn't like walking on any streets. I am in America. Latif's new life in America with his wife Vera and their four children was thriving, just like his vineyard. Wine has to be stored at a, an optimum temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the juice from last September. It's not ready to uh, drink it as wine, but another four or five months it would be. Do you sell it? We don't sell it. We, we give it away. The label Chateau Latif is a play on the well-known international wine brand Rothschild Chateau Lafitte. Each year, Latif's family and friends get together to paint the labels and enjoy a good meal with some great wine. Tal Heinrich, I-24 News.